Hello, and welcome to our newest Buckeyes. My name is Christina Johnson, the newly appointed 16th president of The Ohio State University, and proud to say that we are freshmen together. Or, for our transfer students, you can also consider me a new transfer. I met many of you yesterday during my walk around campus, and I was so energized by the hope and the excitement about our days ahead. All of us, students, faculty, staff, administrators, and yours truly, began this year by taking the safe and healthy return to campus online training and then signing the Together as Buckeyes pledge, promising to follow university guidelines and to do everything possible to protect ourselves and those around us from COVID-19. We are asking you to physically distance, to wear a face mask, and to take every other science-based measure to stop the spread of the virus so that we can give you that very special Ohio State experience, like keeping the oval open and allowing those walks around Mirror Lake. And as soon as it is safe, participate in all the events that bring us together. But no question, there are sacrifices attached to this moment, ways in which your first year in college or your first year here will be very different from your expectations and made more difficult by extraordinary circumstances. I know how that feels. Like John Hideo Houston, of which Houston Hall is named, I too was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma while in college. And for the better part of that year, through surgeries and months of radiation therapy, I wasn't able to make much academic progress. But the following summer, I was able to return full time to my studies and research and I'm so glad that I did not give up. In fact, I learned something really important from that experience. Accomplishments mean so much more when you have to work extra hard for them and to overcome adversity to reach your goals, like graduating from college. Fast forward to May of 2024, at your commencement, you will remember this year and take extra satisfaction and joy from the sacrifices you made to earn your Buckeye Diploma. While some of you may find yourselves in individual circumstances that will require real resolve as you pursue your education, all of you are going to be tested by this utterly unique moment in the history of our country as we battle overlapping challenges that include a global pandemic, the dire need to end racism, intolerable inequities and discrimination the slow motion disaster of chaotic climate change and the economic distress of this immediate moment. This moment is without precedent and will define you as a generation and offer you the opportunity for greatness. Before he died last month, Congressman John Lewis saw such hope in the Black Lives Matter movement and in young people around the country calling for an end to racism and brutality that he wrote a letter to be published on the day of his funeral. In his letter, he passed the torch to all of us. And I quote, though I may not be here with you, he wrote, I urge you to answer the highest calling of your heart and stand up for what you truly believe. He added, when historians pick up their pens to write the story of the 21st century, let them say it was your generation who laid down the heavy burdens of hate at last and that peace finally triumphed. Starting today, we're going to ask all of you to answer the highest calling of your heart and to take care, not just of yourselves, but of your entire community, truly to be together as Buckeyes as we weather this extraordinary time. If you do that, you will always be the class who started their Ohio State careers in the midst of a pandemic and who, because of their careful and thoughtful behavior, beat back COVID-19. Yes, Big Ten conference sports were postponed and our student athletes could not play this fall. Yes, student performers could not gather audiences and yes, in-person classes could not be taken for granted. But we, by focusing on our responsibility to others, made that time as short as possible and brought back the full joy of college life. You will be the class who, because of your love and respect for others, became a force for anti-racism and a quality of opportunity, and who helped to make the highest ideals of our American democracy a reality. You may be the class that turns back the tide on climate change and so many other issues that trouble this world. 
Finally, you will be the class that is held up as an example for every new Buckeye to follow, because in the midst of extreme uncertainty, you found a way to fully embody what is best about Ohio State. Our alma mater, Carmen, Ohio, which expresses our highest aspirations so beautifully, was written, by the way, by a freshman. Legend has it, Fred Cornell was on the ride home after a particularly discouraging football loss in 1902 or 1903, when he began thinking deeply about what Ohio State means. And I quote, the seasons pass, the years will roll, time and change will surely show how firm thy friendship, Ohio. That was a very wise freshman, a commitment to others that holds firm through both disappointment and triumph in what we are about as a land-grant university dedicated from its founding to the advancement of our nation, as an institution determined to lead in education, scholarship, research, clinical care, and in performance, including athletics, as a community that consistently embraces people of every imaginable talent and background. As Buckeyes, we come together here with goodwill, excitement, and a joy to make the world better. So stand together, firm in your own friendship, protect your community, and stop the spread of the virus. Extend that friendship to every member of the Buckeye Nation. Stand up for what's right, and you will feel a sense of pride in the things you are able to accomplish. Even the most challenging times, we have to lift up through our lives and our actions. I am already proud of you. Have a wonderful semester and go Buckeyes.